Deep beneath the waves of the Philippine Sea lies a mystery that could redefine our world's energy future. Imagine an energy source so powerful, so clean, that it could light up cities without polluting the skies. A source that could turn the Philippines into a global energy powerhouse. Today, we're diving into the intriguing tale of deuterium, the so-called fuel of the future, and exploring how this humble archipelago could hold the keys to a new energy era. Deuterium, often dubbed heavy hydrogen, is a rare isotope of hydrogen. Unlike regular hydrogen, which has just one proton, deuterium boasts an extra neutron, doubling its mass. This slight difference packs a punch. It makes deuterium a prime candidate for nuclear fusion, the same process that powers the sun, releasing energy by fusing atomic nuclei together. You've probably heard whispers about nuclear fusion as the ultimate clean energy solution. For decades, scientists have chased this dream, striving to replicate the sun's power here on Earth. It's not science fiction. It's a scientific quest attracting billions in investment from giants like the United States, China, and the European Union. But where does the Philippines fit into this cosmic puzzle? There's a captivating legend that the Philippine Trench, also known as the Mindanao Deep, harbors vast reserves of deuterium, more concentrated than anywhere else on the planet. This underwater abyss is one of the deepest places in the world's oceans, fueling speculation and hope. If these tales hold any truth, the Philippines could catapult to the forefront of the global energy stage. But let's separate fact from fiction. Currently, no scientific evidence confirms that the Philippine Trench contains higher concentrations of deuterium than other ocean waters. Deuterium exists naturally in all seawater, but only in trace amounts. While the myth adds an air of excitement, the real allure of deuterium lies not in where it's found, but in what it can do. So, what makes deuterium so special? Its role in nuclear fusion, a process that unlike nuclear fission, produces minimal radioactive waste and carries no risk of a catastrophic meltdown. Fusion promises a virtually limitless supply of clean energy. A mere gram of deuterium, when fused, can unleash the same energy as burning 10 tons of coal. And since deuterium can be extracted from seawater, its potential supply is nearly inexhaustible. Contrast this with our heavy reliance on fossil fuels, oil, coal, and natural gas, which have powered human progress for centuries, but at a steep environmental cost. Burning these fuels spews out carbon dioxide, driving climate change, and polluting the air we breathe. Plus, they're finite resources, subject to geopolitical tensions and price volatility. The Philippines, like many nations, depends heavily on imported fossil fuels, making energy security a pressing concern. Imagine flipping the script. What if the Philippines invested in extracting deuterium from seawater and developing fusion technology? The country could achieve energy independence, reduce environmental pollution, and even become an energy exporter. Cleaner air, a stronger economy, and a leadership role in global energy, it's a compelling vision. But turning this vision into reality is no small feat. First off, the technology. Nuclear fusion is still in the experimental phase. Projects like the International Thermonuclear Experimental Reactor, ITER, mastering fusion requires achieving and sustaining temperatures hotter than the sun's core a challenge that has bedeviled scientists for generations. For the Philippines to stake its claim in this arena, massive investment in research and infrastructure is non-negotiable. This means billions of dollars funneled into cutting-edge facilities, partnerships with global research institutions, and educational programs to cultivate a homegrown pool of nuclear scientists and engineers. Is the Philippines ready to embrace this challenge? The country certainly has strategic advantages extensive coastlines for seawater extraction, and a growing emphasis on science and technology education. However, the path is fraught with obstacles. High initial costs, technological hurdles, and the long timeline required to see tangible results. Even with immediate action, we're looking at a multi-decade journey before deuterium-based fusion energy could come online. Patience and sustained commitment are essential. International collaboration could accelerate progress but it requires navigating complex geopolitical landscapes and safeguarding national interests. So, can the Philippines rise as a global leader in deuterium energy? The potential is there, but realizing it demands visionary leadership, substantial investment, and a collective will to pioneer a cleaner future. The stakes are high, but so are the rewards. Embracing deuterium and fusion technology could usher in an era of unprecedented prosperity and sustainability for the Philippines. It could transform the nation from an energy importer to an innovator and exporter, 
setting an example for the rest of the world. In the end, the story of deuterium in the Philippines is not just about science or energy. It's about possibility. It's about daring to dream big and taking bold steps towards a better future. While we may not have all the answers today, the quest itself propels us forward. As we conclude our deep dive, one thing is clear. The journey towards harnessing deuterium is as vast and profound as the ocean depths themselves. It's a journey worth watching, worth exploring, and perhaps worth embarking upon. If this exploration into the future of energy has sparked your imagination, give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to OHA News Asia and hit that notification bell to stay tuned for more insights into the stories shaping our world. We want to hear from you. What are your thoughts on deuterium and the Philippines' role in the energy landscape? Share your opinions in the comments below.